What's going on YouTube? Brandon back at you guys with another video presentation. And um, in this video presentation here, I'm going to talk about what if you're not good enough to receive genuine love? You know, a lot of people believe that there's somebody for everybody. But I watched a video here on YouTube with a man saying that um, there's not somebody for everybody. This whole there's somebody for everybody type of thinking I think this whole way of thinking is delusional. I don't think it's really living in reality because what if you what if you live your whole life and you never get no ass? What if you live your whole life and you never meet a female that will like you for you? What if you never find a real relationship? What if you never find a woman who likes your personality, who likes you know what you're into who has similar interests to you what if you never meet a woman that you can connect with on that level so in my opinion I don't think genuine love is for everybody I think people tell people this to make people feel better about themselves so certain people won't feel discouraged but I don't think genuine love exists for everybody. I mean, I really don't. Now I see why certain guys are flashy and why certain guys are very materialistic because they know that genuine love is something that's hard to come by. I've always wanted a female who would appreciate me for me. But if I was to come into millions of dollars tomorrow, and a beautiful, sexy woman wanted me and wanted to break me off some ass, I would I would date a gold digger because I feel like what I got to lose. I've been failing all my damn life. I ain't never been no ladies man. I ain't never been no player. I ain't never been no Mac daddy. So why not just settle for a gold digger who's using me for my money? Because There's not somebody for everybody. A lot of people try to say there's somebody special for everybody. You know, I don't believe there's somebody special for everybody. I believe that people who have superior genetics qualify for genuine love. Like, Somebody like Drake, women find Drake attractive. If you took away Drake's fame, if you took away his money, women would still mess with Drake because they find him genetically attractive. That's what I mean when I say uh, genuine love is only for those who genetics qualifies. That's why I think to myself all the time. What if you're not good enough to receive genuine love? What if your genetics is inferior? What if you're not good enough to receive genuine love? What if you what if you're not compatible with anyone? You know? What if, what if you really are inferior? You know? But a lot of people, I guess, they don't think like this. But I feel that genuine love is not for everybody. Genuine love is only for those who qualify for it. And that's why it kind of makes me feel some type of way. Well, I'm not going to say kind of because it does make me feel some type of way. When I hear people saying, uh, when I hear people say stuff like, 
It's somebody for everybody. When I hear people make statements like that, that genuine love is for everybody, it kind of, it, it, it pisses me the fuck off. Because if genuine love is for everybody, and if everybody is deserving of genuine love, how come you got guys who are in their 30s and 40s and older who've never had a real relationship? Some of these guys haven't been on a date since high school. Some of these guys have never been on a date at all. So I feel people saying that genuine love is for everybody is delusional thinking. That's why I ask myself all the time and a lot of people should ask themselves too. What if you're not good enough to get genuine love? What if you're not good enough to receive genuine love? What if you are inferior? You know, what if you are a failure? A lot of people need to think this. What if you're just a failure? What if your genetics are inferior and you're just not attractive at all to the opposite sex? So, I feel that this is a question people need to ask themselves. What if you're not good enough to receive genuine love? What if your genetics are inferior? And whether people want to believe it or not, some people's genetics are inferior. And some people are inferior. But I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Peace.